Okay, so now I want to go over uh, the product rule if we have a function in terms of three functions. So let's say that we have a function here and um, it's in terms of px, qx, and then rx. All right, and these are all multiplied, so three separate functions make up this function. So, to, to get the derivative of it, the first thing that we can do is let's treat this square bracket, these two functions, as one function. So we'll just have the product rule, or we'll have a product of two functions here, okay? With the first function being, um, being the product of two functions, okay? So hopefully you're not getting too confused here. Basically, I took, a, I took the first two functions and I'm gonna treat it as one. So we got this one function here, this square bracket, and then this rx. So the product rule, when we take the derivative, we take the derivative always of the first function, which is this whole thing, Okay, so that denotes that that's the derivative of the first function times the, um, the second function plus, let's rewrite the, um, the first function times the derivative of the second function. All right, so two functions, this square bracket and then this rx. When we take the derivative, we take the derivative of the first function, the whole, the derivative of the whole square bracket times the second function plus the first function times the derivative of the second function. And then notice how the derivative of this function here since it's a product of two functions, we can do the product rule again on that. So the derivative of that will be um, the first function, the derivative of the first function p of x times q of x plus p of x times the derivative of q of x times rx. So the derivative of this bracket, since we have to take the derivative of it, is just equal to that. And that's just the product rule that we went over in the, uh, in the video before. And then the second part here, let's, uh, let's just multiply these out. So we'll have P X times Q X times R prime X. And now for this function, let's, uh, let's distribute this R X inside the bracket into this expression and into this expression. So our final answer will just be p prime of x times qx times rx plus p of x times q prime of x times r of x plus p of x times q of x times r prime x, the derivative of rx. And that's it. That's the uh, that's the product rule here. If you have a function as a product of three functions, it's just this long derivative here, and it's it's pretty simple to remember. You just uh, you add three parts, and each part will be the derivative of one of the functions times the other two functions left as they are, right? So p prime x here you have q prime x with the p and r left as the same and then the p and q are left the same and uh, you got r prime x there. So it's, uh, it's not too bad, but you may run into questions where you'll have to do the derivative of the product of three functions. So this is the formula.